Luke, welcome to the club. How does it feel to, to sign for Nottingham Forest? Thanks, yeah, it's um, a great feeling. It's a really fantastic club, as everybody knows. And um, I've been quite patient this summer, waiting to determine my next move, and for this to come about just at the right time was, was fantastic for me, and you know, hopefully I can do everybody, everybody proud, so it's, it's a really good feeling today. And why Nottingham Forest? What made you want to, to sign for the club? Um, I, I just think I'm in a position, you know, when you're 33, you have a bit more um, freedom to take your time, choose carefully who you sign for. Um, obviously, I've done quite a bit of travelling in the clubs that I've had before. And, you know, to be, to be this close to my hometown, which is Peterborough, you know, I'm, I'm like an hour away. This is like the, a real strange thing for me because usually I'm across the country or across Europe. So for many reasons, and like I've mentioned, the history of the club, but you know, I've always enjoyed playing here. And um, I think when a club like Nottingham Forest come asking for you straight away, you know, your ears prick up and you know, it's a real honor to have that put in front of you. So it was quite an easy decision once it was, um, once it was official that they, they wanted me. So, you know, it was done quite quickly. And how big a part did, did I talk Karanka play in, in you coming here? Well, you know, he, his record speaks for itself. He's had a, a fantastic football career um, and hopefully, and I believe he's a, a very good manager, you know, so I'm excited to work with somebody who's played with some world-class players, been at a world-class club in, in Madrid and, you know, moving forward, I'm excited to, to learn new things, learn new ways. I've always been interested in, you know, learning from across Europe, playing in Panathinaikos and, you know, this is something that's interests me as well, you know, the, the style and, and the types of managers these clubs have. So, you know, it, it, it's something I'm really looking forward to. There's a lot of ambition here this season to, to push at the top end of the, of the table. Do you think that that's something that could be achieved? Um, yeah, I've heard a lot about the ambition. Um, there's a lot of clubs in this league that want to get promoted every year. There's like 15, 16 who believe that they're either going to go straight up or at least make playoffs. Of course, that's not the case, but Forest have signed some really strong, athletic, skilled players this year. And I think it's a bit of a, um, a serious bid to, to push up that league. And it'd be exciting to see where, where we end up. I was going to say they, it's we now, where we end up. So, you know, it's, it's day one for me and I can't wait to get started and, you know, see the style of the team and see what sort of um, squad it really is. And where are you, where are you at fitness-wise? Um, obviously, you've been uh, leaving Bristol City at the end of last season. Where are you match sharpness fitness-wise at this moment? No, I'm, I'm absolutely fine. Um, I've obviously trained alone, which is something new for the first few weeks. And then it's no secret that I went to Sheffield United um, and did a week there, played for them in a friendly match. So I have had, you know, obviously hard fitness training in terms of goalkeeping and on the track running and things like that, which is important more so at 33. Um, yeah, so I feel absolutely fine. Touch wood, I've got no injuries and things like that. So it's, it is a bit of a strange one to sign the week before the season starts, but you know, um, I've hopefully kept myself in good condition and you know, done all the things I've, I've been told to do and hopefully I can hit the ground running. So there won't be no big pre-season or anything for me. I hopefully go straight with the team and at least start to train properly um, as soon as possible. It'd be good to be involved against your old team on, on Saturday in the first, first game of the season as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. That's one thing I, I learned today. I didn't look into their first game of the season until earlier today. Um, it's quite ironic, ironic that it is Bristol City and it's good. It's good to go back to somewhere that you've just left and on the first day of the season. So, um, you know, I'll know quite a lot about that squad, which might be helpful, but you know, who knows? Who knows what will happen between now and then? Um, it'll be an exciting first day, nevertheless.